We are a hidden treasure. Um, we're a 40,000 square foot facility with fantastic collections, numbering over 30,000 objects, uh, which are, um, can easily be counted among the best of their kind across the country. Opened in 1975, the Museum of the Red River is a true Oklahoma original. Here you can take a global peek into other cultures. We display and research and, and, and work with the material culture of peoples all over the world. And so we will have things from five continents um, and rep things from the earliest uh, human interaction. We have, we have objects that date back 10,000 years to contemporary. And in the contemporary spirit, the museum is celebrating its 40th birthday in a big way. We're going to add about a total of 8,000 square feet throughout the building. Um, we're renovating individual spaces uh, in addition to adding on a, basically a whole new front, which will be the lobby and the museum store and a new classroom. Um, our collections, currently numbering about 30,000 objects, are, uh, are in storage that we basically, uh, we're about 95% capacity. The museum's new $4 million expansion project, set to happen very soon, will at least double their storage space and increase the exhibit space in the other areas. Pretty soon, more of this stuff will be out here where you and I can see it. Keep in mind, though, there's plenty of cool stuff to see right now. Okay, now, Henry, uh, I was looking earlier. This little tab says beer fermenting vessel. Right. That's a lot of, that's a lot of alcohol right uh, that's there. A, that is a lot of alcohol. Um, actually, there are several hundred gallons represented in these two jars. What are these from? Uh, these are from, uh, well, these are made by the Shipibo Indians uh, who live on the east side of the Andes in Peru. Now, this is, it, the, the sign says archaeological study collections, and mm -hmm. you told me earlier, the oldest item uh, in this museum is right in this it drawer. It will be in this drawer. In this drawer. <laughs> this is a Clovis point, which is uh, among the earliest tools that, are, uh, that, that have ever been found in North America. So this is between 10 and 12,000 years old. It was found in Oklahoma. That's just amazing to think that, you know, mm -hmm. uh, it, right, it's right there, right? 10,000 <laughs> years, right there, right there. The museum is also home to the state dinosaur, Acrocanthosaurus atokensis. Bet you can't say that fast three times. Back in the early 80s, our buddy Acro was found just about 20 miles down the road. It was local school kids who got him displayed here. They were challenged to raise $50,000. And those kids did not raise $50,000. They raised $150,000. And so we were sort of called on it. And so we spent the other $500,000 to build the building and acquire a cast because the original fossil was, was not available to us. But that was also the catalyst that took us from a regional museum to an international museum. At 40 years old, this museum is just getting its second wind. This new expansion will help it promote the future while preserving its past. In Idabel, Discovering Oklahoma, I'm Darren Brown.